Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NFL Office Trivia. We have a brand new game today. I don't know how to go, so be very nice to me. The boys on the couch be working together as a team. How you doing? I will give them 13 Mel Kuyper draft analysis and give them a multiple choice to guess who the player is. 13 questions. Mel Kuyper you can eat stinks. one on me. If you get 12 out of 13, free t-shirt giveaway from our merch to a commenter, subscriber, lover, relationship, or spouse, and more. Dub. Got it? You can eat one on me. You're working together. Talk all you want. 13 prospects. We're dialed. Question number one. Let me get rid of Mel. I crossed out names. Sure. Blank is the best prospect in the draft. His testing numbers at the combine were a 4-4, 40-yard dash, 41-inch vert, elite at any size. You guys can read. Six foot, 230 pounds, tremendous balance, great lower body work, quick feet, stellar runner, inside and outside of tackles, and he showed that he's a true three-down back. 54 catches after having 48 combined in his first two seasons. Blank is a special talent. Saquon, six foot, 233 pounds. Is that, are we sure? Yes. Bijan's taller than that, right? I think Bijan's not 233. These are official combine numbers, too. So yeah, Bijan's yeah. not 233. Fournette, I think, was... 100% Saquon's 233. Definitely not also C-Mac. Also not McCaffrey. Yeah. Wait, with elite size, much... Like, saying elite size, much less, he's six foot, 233 pounds. Are you sure Saquon's 233? Yes, on jaw. Could it four, be four, Zeke? Oh. That checks out. He ran a 4-4. Zeke didn't run a 4-4, right? Fuck. I'm also thinking 54 catches. Wow. Zeke didn't get to 54 in the season. Yeah. But look, Fournette was low key fucking special awesome. as a prospect and at LSU. I also, I also Acknowledge. think this would be Saquon because it's the best prospect in this draft. They'll do that with running backs when they're like Bijan last year. No, no, I, I think you're right. I think it's probably Saquon. I like Saquon. I'm, I'm down to go Saquon too. Yeah. Locked in. Yep. yep. Bang. Good job, so, Gut. I don't know why I remember that so specifically. That's two thirty three. It's a dub. Question number two. Twelve more for a T-shirt. Blank is rising because of how he tested at the combine. There's a chance he's the first defensive back off the board. 4-4-7-40, 40-inch four, seven, 40, 40 vert. Showed off for air athleticism. 6-2 for nothing. Tough evaluation. Former five-star recruit. Terrific as a freshman. Some stats, some numbers. Torn meniscus. It'll automatically cancel out Kyle Hamilton. Right, because he ran slow. Do we know if any of these guys tore their meniscus in college? Can be a versatile defender who plays in the box and also covers a deep middle field. That feels very much like Minka Derwin James. On the field is tough. I have yeah, tackles for a field, loss. It has to be a safety. No, Jalen Ramsey got to be chalked. No, yeah. Jeff Akuda definitely wouldn't be it because he I went. Have tackles for a loss. Isn't that a ton for these guys? Yes. Four That's what I'm saying. Sacks. Who else? Like, I feel like Minka that, and Derwin were both like dudes who Derwin. blitzes Derwin, a lot. Derwin plays in the box way the more than Minka. Only two interceptions too. I feel like Minka's probably got more than that. I don't Where did Minka get drafted? I thought he was mid twenties. Maybe at the latest. All these guys. I mean, we're talking like beginning of. First half of the first. Do we round. remember any either of these guys were hurt a lot in college? I think it's hurt a lot now. It feels like I don't yeah. know if that was the same in college. No, I don't think. I don't know if he was. Derwin's also hurt now a lot too. My gut says Derwin. I know it's not my. Kyle. my it's not a corner. My gut feels like Derwin also. I like Derwin. Let's. Mitchell? Yeah, let's go Derwin. Bang. Nice, nice. I feel like the tiebreaker could have just been like Jameson made this. Yeah, yeah but I also feel like Derwin. that way you'd put that in to fair, like fuck us fair, up. Fair, fair. Hang. Good job. Two for two. On to question number three, prospect number three, QB, 6'4", 226. Cut, the weight help? It's not Sammy Slings. It's not Pickett, it's not Jones. Throws nope. a great ball, rare arm talent. How many quarterbacks who throws like him? Still questions, coming off a stellar freshman season, struggled in blank year, only made six starts before injuring his shoulder. Already, I'm pretty sure this is Sam Darnold. Is Darnold or Bradford? Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold also did have an injury. I thought he was bigger than that, though. 6'4", 226? No, like I that's... I thought he was heavier than 226, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I think Bradford coming out was looked at as, like, like the goat. a wildly accurate QB. So yeah. it'd probably be... Yeah. Sam Darnold, great prospect, but he was he was kind of erratic a little See, bit. See, but that that last part, though, he might be the quarterback in this class who's most ready to play week one. I feel like Darnold came out as a really young prospect, and people were, like, questioning whether he was ready. No? Maybe, but that who were the other quarterbacks with Sam Bradford? I feel like he was like the only one in the. This guy also said Johnny Menzel was the most pro ready quarterback. Well, like, I can't it be. Coming, what about Josh Rosen? Were people looking at Josh Rosen as a rare arm talent? 10 or 11th pick, right? Is he 6'4, 226? Yeah. If anything, Josh Rosen might be. He, he's bordering like 6'5, I think. Josh Rosen was tall. And he's pretty lean. I'd probably yeah. lean him. Honestly, maybe it is Josh Rosen. Did he have a crazy freshman season at UCLA? What was it, UCLA? UCLA, yeah. yeah. I can see that. I. For some reason, I think Sam Darnold was more banged up, though. He might be the quarterback in this class who's most ready to play week one. I don't think that's, that's Josh Rosen. Probably not. Well, Josh Rosen was in, what, the Kyler year? 
No, he Sam. It was Rosen, Darnold, Baker, mm. Lamar, and Josh Allen. Josh Allen definitely would not be boss right. Right, <laughs> but that that last sentence does make me a little bit weird. Just because yes. I do feel no, like he it, came it, out me too. early. I kind of, I do kind of think though that Darnold was viewed as I think he was viewed like most ready. Yeah, I mean, maybe it was Baker. You can eat one. We have no other lifelines like fifty fifty or anything like. And that. you got each other, so no. Oh, fair. I don't think Rosen was playing. I don't think he was the quarterback his freshman year. Sam Darnold feels like four All years. All right, we're locking Sammy. Sammy? No. Census? Hold on. I, I don't think we're getting anywhere else. Like That might line up, though, too, I guess, because if you're getting picked after your junior year, you probably had a really good freshman year. Like, Wait, where's the junior? He got drafted junior year? I remember him coming out he early. Did. He yeah, got drafted yeah. after his junior year because okay. I think people were like, he may, maybe he should have went back to school. Yes. I'm cool locking Sam in. Let's do you it. You guys are? Three? Yeah. Incorrect. Fuck, it's Rose. probably Rose. Josh Rose. Fuck. I think you were kind of right in the beginning. Like, yeah. Sammy wasn't. Guaranteed. I remember him Rosen being like super young. Our eat one's gone. Damn. That's okay though. On to prospect number four. Rosen was the most ready. That's crazy. Blank was one of the best stories of the season. The blank had 79 catches for 1,500 yards and 15 touchdowns, and he was targeted 120 times and just had three drops. Only three. He turned in the best deep threat in the country. Blazing speed. Although blank 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 blank, it's going to drop him down it's some James teams boards. Could have been a top pick. Now he's going to slide a little bit. Watching his rehab closely is Jamison Williams. What? Devontae what wasn't was... hurt. JSN wasn't. Oh, it could be hold JSN. On, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. But he... JSN didn't have 1,500 yards and 15 yugs. Yeah. Well, hold on. There's a lot of clues here. Yeah. Let's just simmer down. Uh, Jamison Williams, was he described as a tr- – he's a number one NFL yes. receiver? Yeah, 100%. He was Devontae Smith had, I think, 1,700 during his Heisman year. It has to be Jam- – dude's blazing speed. He's literally known for his blazing speed. It's not Waddle because Waddle wasn't hurt. Coming into the draft, and he was number five, and he wasn't going to drop past the top twenty. But how do you know that that sentence says that he's hurt? He says, "I'm watching his rehab closely." Jason get hurt. Jason had his hamstring injury, but he's not blazing speed. I can promise you that. There he, was two. He weren't there two Bama receivers that tore their ACL? Devonta Smith tore his shit in the championship game, didn't he? I think that might have been Waddle. No, Devonta Devon- came out and played right away for the Bird. I don't. I kind of like Jameson Williams. Or something? What was Jameson Williams' injury timeline again? Like he got, he got hurt, hurt in the playoff game. In, in the, no, because he came back. He came back for the championship game, didn't he? Or was that Waddle? No, he no, got hurt I in the playoff that was game. Was Devonta Smith? One Devonta of them Smith. fucked their shit earlier in the year and then came back for the championship game, like pushed through it and didn't that, play well. Jameson, I think that was Jameson Williams. Jameson literally tore his ACL in the championship game, right? I think that was Jalen Waddle. What we're talking about, and I think Jameson Williams did it in. Jameson Williams definitely towards ACL in the championship game for sure. I thought there was a championship game where Devonta Smith had like 130 and a touchdown in the first half and then left because he got hurt. No. Either way, this is definitely not Devonta. Oh, I don't think so. I think this has to be Jameson. I, I, I like Jameson. Because they're I saying think. he was good. Because he was originally going to be a top 10 pick before he tore his ACL. Like, because he's so fast, so big. Pause. And he's the best deep threat in the country. Yeah. I would say that's pretty locky. All right. Let's rip it. Hold the Jameson on Jameson. Yep. Bang! Long bar is like Torres AC on the in the championship. Okay. Good bounce back for the boys. On to prospect number five. After missing a few games because of the ankle injury he suffered in the season opener, Blank was spectacular in his return. Strip sack, another sack, nine tackles total against Blank. Against Blank the week before, he had a sack and ten pressures. Finished the season with seven sacks, two forced fumbles, even though he had half as many sacks. Blank he had the second best pressure up. Best pressure rate in the country. Ranked high school recruit. This one's... Kayvon was a number one in high school. He was? Yep. You think any of these other guys were, though? I don't know the other ones. Trayvon had to be up there at Bama. I don't know any stats with defensive players. His Wait, didn't didn't one of the Bosa brothers fuck their ankle yeah, up in the I season opener? Yeah, but I, it was an ACL. I don't think it was an ankle. If, mm. I think Nick Bosa's injury was way more than just, like... I thought Nick an, Bosa, like, fucked his shit. No, Nick Bosa did fuck his shit up. I thought he tore his ACL or some shit. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Gregory Rousseau is just a name he threw on there for fucks and giggles. There's no way we were going to get that. If you put mm-hmm. this as Gregory Rousseau. I'm like, <laughs> Dude, I think it's a Bosa brother. Where Kayvon was like, Oregon has the numbers, the athleticism's there, was a high recruit out of high school, has the build. I also don't think a Bosa brother was the number one ranked high school recruit. My gut wants to say it's Tavon. Kayvon. Really? I just know he was super highly recruited. Yeah. He was like, yeah. he went to Oregon, people knew. Nine yeah. sacks as a true freshman. I just this I, season with seven thing. sacks, and that's it? I don't think it's one of the Bosa brothers, because they're saying after missing a few games, I'm, just like, I'm pretty sure Nick Bosa missed an entire season. I, yeah. I also don't think 
even though he had half as many sacks, like, one of the biggest things was like Kayvon, I felt like, was his production at Oregon. I think that's fair. Who were the other pass rushers? Did someone come out with Kayvon that was like... Wasn't he the same class as Trayvon? Trayvon went above him? I think Kayvon was the year before, no? Was it 2021? Because so Trayvon went before Aiden Trevor, Hutchinson, and that right? Was the, no, came on at five. Aiden Hutchinson went. No, no, no. Tra- oh, Trayvon, Trayvon yeah, Aiden Trayvon Hutchinson. Because people were like, you right, should have took one? Aiden uh, Hutchinson over him. Yeah. Came on at five. I don't remember who was above him. Later than that. Maybe what you're saying, nine. I think, does make sense. Kayvon feels like a feels like a highly recruited high school player. He's just athletic as fuck. And athletic yeah. as fuck. Yeah. I'm, maybe I'm a good to less. rip that then. I don't feel like it's Bosa fitting into either. I, into, into I just that. don't know enough to where I'd be confident in ripping. I think we go. I swear to God, if it's Gregory Rousseau, I'm going to blow my brains out. I have no idea anything about him. I don't really know either. Got an official answer? Let's go, Kayvon. Putting his team on his back? Yes, he is. Oh, good shit. How you doing? There we go. I'll stick to the defense. You guys can get the offense. No Gregory Rousseau love? (laughs) All right, next question. Blank put up blank numbers at the combine, running a four five six forty with a vertical jump of thirty one and a half inches at six feet tall, two hundred and fourteen pounds. Huge part of the defensive success for the past few seasons, even if it doesn't show on the stat sheet. One pick, one sack, one forced fumble. Great bloodlines. His dad, blank, was okay. the nineteen overall pick in the nineteen eighty five draft. He's built for today's NFL as a blank who can play in the box effectively. Magic Sertain. Made tackles against uh, the run. Sertain six two, no. Yeah, I think it's. I'm going Asante Samuel. Move that, to the that, edges and yeah, track. It's one of those that two. makes sense. I mean, Asante Samuel Sr. was highly recruited. Can, I don't think Patrick Sertan Sr. was, was he? Most positive. Sertan is also 6'2. Did also, if we just didn't make have sure. anybody in the bloodline, I don't, I don't think. Jamal? No, I don't think so. Adams could be damn near anybody. Although. I thought Asante was fast. Where did Asante Samuel Jr. go to college? Florida State. Yeah. Sertan and Samuel, yeah, neither of them not, feel like box guys. So but, think, like, when he was coming out, like he could play damn near anywhere. That was like his biggest. Think, yeah, like, okay. He, he was that's one of the, the best prospects I, in the class. And that's, if that's the case, then like he was a steal for the Chargers. Like, well, I, like I saw pay out like that. That's a tough pick. Asante's dad did not go in eighteen eighty five. I thought he was younger. That uh, yeah, it does feel a little far yeah. back. Like he two thousand two. Oh man! So he would have been probably nineties drafted. Honestly, yeah. dude, one of these guys probably has a dad that we're just not even like Jamal. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey. Jamal, I thought, was bigger than 214, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's I, don't, I don't think like it's... Two, is it just but, Marlon Humphrey? Straight up? Jalen Ramsey was probably touted as a guy who could play in the box, yeah? Yeah, yeah he was, for sure. I don't know if he's a dad. Do we think... What about six <laughs> foot 214? Does that feel like a right size for Jalen Ramsey? Yeah, it does. He'd be more athletic than 31 invert. <laughs> Maybe I'm tripping. And he was... What about four, five, six, forty? Jalen Ramsey? I don't like... I feel like I don't really pay attention to defensive combine that, yeah. that closely. Although... Also, that stat sheet, like, I know that like, it was underwhelming, but Jalen Ramsey probably... He had a crazy stat. He's just, like, yeah. not so high. No, that's why I'm thinking Jamal might it's be a there, huge so. part of... No, I don't think it can be Jamal. Jamal's not six... He's, Did he's Jamal gotta be have heavier. a dad? Jamal's got to be heavier than 214. Yeah, he, he feels think. like 230 minimum. Yeah. I'm saying, did he come Jamal. out as... Like, he's 230 now, but did he come out uh, as... He dude, he like always he was big. huge, though, yeah. 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 Okay, 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 okay. I'm telling... I would put a lot of money that... Sertan is above six foot. Jalen Ramsey could have a dad drafted 19th overall who is such a bust. We don't know who it is. Oh, how big is Marlon? He's not 215. Don't I, th- I feel like if it's Marlon, someone in it's had to be thrown around here before that his dad was fucking. Yeah, him. maybe. Yeah, just throwing in there to fuck with us. <laughs> so we think it's Asa- Asante Samuel. Ah. He does not feel like 214. What if Jamal's a dad? Like, I'm, Dude, I'm you, we need to get off Jamal. Man, he has it's a dad, Jamal. yeah. It just can't be Jamal Adams. There's no way he came out at 214. All right, fair enough. All right. Jeez. <laughs> Round of fucking stud. What if Jalen Ramsey had a dad, 19th overall, wasn't, maybe he wasn't like a good NFL player, but maybe he was like, just like an athlete, like a like a track guy or something. I think you know Jalen what I mean? ran better than a 5'6 and 31 inches. Me too. He feels faster than that. Okay. I also wonder though. Feels like you guys have crossed out every player. That yeah. second cross out. Do uh, you think it's like amazing numbers or like disappointing numbers? Cause numbers, because maybe that's a little bit of a clue too. Because to be honest with you, those numbers are pretty disappointing. Both played for FSU. Yeah, were those defenses as a whole good? Because no. he says as a huge part of the defensive success mm. over the past season, I feel like FSU didn't have like even though the individual players were nice, I don't think FSU was like my guys. brain is like screaming certain. You want to say he's sick too, but I like I don't. Oh, oh, maybe you're right, but I feel like in Madden he's six foot. Ah. Really? I don't know. Something in me is telling, saying it's six two, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm. Was, did he have combine, a dad? 
in the NFL, Patrick Sertain? Yeah, I know he like didn't run, sure. I know yeah. he didn't run well either. So <laughs> built. He's not bigger than Also, maybe this was supposed to be easier. Maybe it was supposed to just be between Sertain and Samuel. You know what I mean? And he's just Like the bloodline. Yeah, maybe. Like maybe So is Sante Samuel Jr.? No, I, I, I kind of uh, want to. Walking Pat. I, I yeah. Do we have, any, go we have any more lifelines? We just had the one yeah. get it wrong. Let's fucking. Let's, let's go. He's making things impossible. Let's yeah. get it. Let's go Patty Sertain. Locked in? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Consensus. Yes. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. It is not Pat Sertain. He's 6'2". I don't know. It's, it it's Samuel. <laughs> no. Jamal Adams? It's Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams. I can't believe I got talked out of that. I can't believe I got talked out of that. Yeah, it's Jamal. Threw in Sertain and Samuel just because they're juniors to fuck with you guys. Dude, I, everyone I, here is a junior besides Jalen. Marlon did have a dad in the league. It's Jam- they're dude. I, that's Jalen Ramsey Jr. and Jamal Adams Jr. Ever, you said everyone's a junior here outside of Marlon. Oh, I don't know. Their dads' names are Jamal and Marlon, but okay, yeah. Okay, so then they're Dude, juniors. Dude, I Fuck, literally I said it so many times. Pain's big six two. She. Let's Wait, keep who, going. This is kind yeah. of fun. Who, who's Who's Jamal's? Dude, that's sickening as fuck. That is. Offensive. You guys say he's more than 214. Right. I had a hunch. No t-shirt. You just said Patrick Sertain was it. You yeah, can't be going. You can't uh, take so him gut, off. Gut, gut, gut might have pulled. Gut fought for Jamal, and he just we got shut down. We should have just let Gut I got yelled at. Yeah. Gut got shut down. Next one. I wrote after the combine that Blank was entering the first round discussion and I moved him above Blank as my second ranked tight end. There's a good chance he goes near the end of day one. He put up the best Blank among tight ends in the fourth best vertical at the combine at 6'3", 234, 65 catches, 925 yards, 8 tutties. This is, uh, I'm almost positive this is Ingram. I was thinking it was Hayden low-key. Hating one at the end of day one. Six three two thirty four. Mel Kuyper put right no, but exactly. What I'm, what I'm saying is, it makes sense that Ingram would be ranked behind either Njoku or who's the other tight end that went OJ, OJ Howard. Howard. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is Ingram because right, I think that's I think that's his size six three two thirty four. I feel like fans was... fans throw me off a little bit, but I think he's bigger than that too. I think he's six four. I don't also don't think he put up nine twenty five next to Hawk. I feel like no offense. Better also, blocker too. Y- yes, you're sure they came in together. Yes, let's let's lock it, in, Ingram. Bang! All right, it is Evan. Overthink that. Next one. Let's get into a little bit back to the running backs. Fierce runner, not my highest rated back. That would be blank, but blank as Who's a runner. Phone is in the case of library. Low center gravity, game breaking ability. Could do a little bit more as a receiver. This is all security. Could be better as a runner. I'm like ninety percent sure it's Dobbins. Phenomenal. Looked like a surefire first round pick as a freshman. Awesome as a freshman. Took a step back. Had a good next year, I believe. He's 5'9, 210. Um, definitely got that game breaking ability. Didn't catch a ton of balls. Yeah. Like Pierce is heavier than that. Some I'm like 90% in on Kenneth Dobbins. Uh, this is, I think we're going to overthink if it's not okay. Dobbins. All right, rivet. Dobbins. Dobbins. Bang. JK. Next up, prospect number nine. I don't see potential top five talent at quarterback in this draft. <laughs> That doesn't mean a QB needy team won't be desperate and pick one in the top five. This is it's so EJ. Watson. No, this is so EJ Manuel. Sean Watson was Mahomes, Trubisky. Yeah, bro. I've had my top him. ranked QB. I don't see a potential five, top five talent at this whole draft, though. That would mean he'd hate all the QBs in that draft. I think it's Manuel. I think Manuel's the first QB, unless it's Blake Bortles, too. Bortles was like 6'5", though. Yeah. It? Oh, true. Oh, 6'2", 222. Oh, Trubisky's kind of in that range. Blank. EJ at Florida State definitely threw more than six picks. Hold on. In his first year as a full-time starter, that could lean to Trubisky, too, because he only had one year, like, as a senior where he was a starter. Yeah. This feels like Trubisky, I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be okay DJ with Manuel, Trubisky. Um, how, where did EJ Manuel go again? He was the next quarterback behind Jameis, so I don't know. Before. Before, before Jameis. Before. Sorry, yeah, sorry. He was 2013. or whatever. The hints feel more like Manuel because of that. I don't see a potential top five when That's you look fair. at Trubisky's class. There was so much talent in but it. But to be but fair, like it. Mahomes wasn't. Yeah, Mahomes like I think I think regarded. Watson. Watson was, was very highly five. right, yeah. but he hated Watson. Like Mel Kiper notoriously hated Deshaun Watson. Then. It it's does. Sh- that one line in his first year as a full time starter does feel like Trubisky. Also, wait, did we? Could it actually just Sean Watson? Or is he taller than 6'2"? No, he has – his watching was great for multiple years. And his experience is a question mark, which would be the biggest giveaway for right. Trubisky. Right, right, right. Don't have a lot of tape. It's got to be Trubisky. He was only a one-year starter. Yeah. Let's let's lock yeah. in the – Mitch? Yeah. Morning, Mitch. Bang. Nice. Prospect 10. God, we're this so shit is fun as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this. Blank had a fantastic debut season as a starter. Blank throwing 4,321 yards. Uh, the Looks a part of a big-time NFL signal caller. He can make every throw with ease. Accurate on the move. Pick up first downs with his legs. Standing touch on vertical throws. Best performance came when he threw for 442 yards and three scores against. Georgia. 
Still has had a few sloppy interceptions. I want to see him clean up those mistakes. He finished with 224. 442 against Georgia? Yeah. Why, why that made could, you think Georgia? Because he had a fucking massive game. No, no, that that those stats feel like Stroud as well. 443-21-38. It's not Drake. Um, Drake had, I think, more than seven. He's accurate on the move. Varies speeds really well, which I feel like was not Herbert's thing. Baker's biggest game was, like, against Mahomes when it was... Did he get work? Because he finished with 24 touchdown passes and nine picks. Stroud didn't go 24-9 this year. What about May? Are we over... over it could be May. Talking May. When Sam Howell left, he had a fantastic... Because didn't... When he had his... Dude, Drake Man was fucking hit. Right? Like, his, like, his yeah, first his, year, people yeah. were like, he's the guy. Yeah. Like, he was regarded as, like, him mm. and Williams are, like... A one A one B. I still see it. I just this honestly feels like two positive. And then he took a step a down for CJ Stroud. Yeah, I, well, he definitely didn't finish. your twenty four and nine no, picks. No, you're right. So that that I feel like Drake may had a relatively disappointing year stat wise. Yeah, he wasn't was, Baker? Uh, he didn't know him. Yeah, I can see it being Drake. I don't think it's Bo. He's Bo never threw nine picks. I don't know enough about Bo, but I've, if if you feel like it's not Bo, then I'm pretty good with Drake. No, he also my only problem is like I know Bo last season seven picks, but he doesn't. Did he have a fucking 4,338 touchdown season, Bo Nix? His outstanding touch on Virgil. Still, he had a few sloppy interceptions. I want to see him clean up those mistakes. This, ah, this feels more like Drake. Yeah. I'm down for Drake. Feels like it's an over overwhelmingly like positive review. Season than that. Let's rip Drake May. Yeah. yeah. May it be May? May. Mm-hmm. It may. Bang. Nice. How you doing? All right. On to prospect 11, only three left. Blank stats won't blow anyone away, but he didn't have a great supporting cast of playmakers around him. 19 passing touchdowns, 10 interceptions last season, rough QBR, 59th in the country. But when I went through and watched all his starts, this is so Josh Allen. I was really impressed with this game. Rocket launcher for an arm and make some wild throws. That has gotten the blank transfer into trouble at times. Will Levis. Yeah. But it's clear watching him that he believes he could fit the ball into any window. Like Will to Levis had 19 and 10 last year. He makes big throws. That's Where did he, arm. he transferred, didn't he? Penn State to Kentucky. It can't be it, Allen it can't didn't be transfer. Josh Allen because his stats were fucking electric. Yep, this is definitely Will Levis. Wilson had 30 and 3. Trask was not good. He wouldn't be compared also, to Matt Stafford. I don't think he transferred either, right? No, Florida. I don't think he's a I mean, I think arm. Will Levis is the only one who did transfer here, right? Yeah. Uh, Jordan Love, I don't know. But Jordan Love also led the country in interceptions, so I don't think so. All right, let's rip it. Levy. Yeah, Levy. Bang. Always. Hey, Kyle Bang. Trask was good. No, His final he year, he no. was. <laughs> we discussed Blank in the Blank season when he had seven catches, 172 yards, and two scores. What stands out about him is his route running ability. Okay. He just gets open. He can do it with so many ways. He can make up ground, a late burst, attract the ball. He explodes off the line of scrimmage. Had 100 catches, 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns, which feels like the exact same number as Jameson Williams was earlier. Uh, struggled a little bit with an unspecified injury. A little sus. A little sus if you ask me. Finish the season 59 catches, 870 yards. This he feels scores. like JSN. Though. I was going to say, I, I, I was leaning was JSN. Didn't he have 100 catches? That feels like his exact stat line from his the year before last year, and then he struggled a little bit over the last two months. injury. I feel like everyone knew it was his hamstring, though. But maybe I'm tripping. I also was thinking it was Jordan Addison because he used to play slot a lot of pit, and now he moved to the outside of mm. USC. He also had a worse year. But did he miss two months? Or he just struggled with it. No, he missed time. He was injured. Yeah, like he got injured. No, he got injured at USC because he didn't play. He had 875 yards. Like I'm very sure this is Addison. Okay. I feel like everyone knew ASN was a hamstring because they made that very apparent. Yeah. Also, when he came back from that, he only played like one game, right? Yeah. So he definitely didn't put up 59, 875, and oh, eight. No. Yeah. All right. So JSN. He had 300 yards last year. Henry Henry Ruggs definitely not. Jerry Judy didn't do that either. Zay. I feel. Uh, yeah. That's the only thing. I don't even, I don't think 15 hundo. No. I feel good with Addison. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bang. Noise. Put Jordan Addison on there like mm. I wouldn't know that. Final prospect. Prospect 13. Only missed two so far, right? Dude, I watched yeah. too much tape. This That's unfortunate. If, you if, that if only we just went with Jamal Adams. If only you knew he had a dad. Question 13. I asked that 10 times. You didn't look me in the eyes. <laughs> Blank has been a tough evaluation because of the talent he had around him. He had to elevate his teammates because he didn't get a lot of help. Sacked 51 times, which led... The FBS. Really high on his ceiling. Most talented quarterback in the class, arguably. Can he reach that ceiling? That will depend on the situation if he lands. But the hope is once he gets around the NFL talent, those players can elevate him. The blank transfer through blank touchdowns. 
blank 12 interceptions and blank, but he had three different pick six games. Pick game. Please percent of dropped from his breakout. Do we think this is... Again, that's not all on him. Do we think it's Malik Willis? I was going to say, uh, I kind of remember him throwing a pick sixes. Yeah. It's and... Not, where, where, was, where was he at before Liberty? I don't know, but I'm, I'm like... I know Cam transferred. Cam transferred. Anthony Richardson no, did transfer. transfer. We're talking James about didn't transfer. We're talking RG3 about guys when you get where's that fucking line? Uh, the blank. When transfer. you hold, gets around NFL talent, like Cam Cam Newton, Richard, all these guys were surrounded by NFL talent outside of Malik Willis. Richardson was not. I don't think that's true. I, really? Jamison was. Jamison we can leave. Jamis on. definitely Kelvin. was right. Cam Newton when he was at Auburn, who were like, can you name a single I mean, playmaker? I guess it's more just like they the played in the right SEC. Trey oh, Mason, okay. yeah, but like receivers. Oh, no. RG three didn't transfer, did he? I don't think he did. He might be Cam. <sighs> I think it's either Cam or Willis. Me too. He had thirteen scores on the ground. Did Malik have thirteen scores on the ground? Probably. My thing with Cam is like he's been a tough evaluation because of the talent he had around him. That's just not Cam Newton. I like, kind of feel like he was, was like the overwhelmingly yeah. like number one overall pick. Malik, lock it in. What about RG three? We haven't talked about him at all. I don't think he transferred. Okay. Do we it's probably really how on ceiling, from? but he's no. and he had a stud year. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah, wait. Time out. It's yeah. not RG three. He no way people were like he's more talented than Andrew Luck. Good point. Yeah. I mean, Malik was in that terrible draft class with Ritter right. and Pickett, Pickett and all those guys. Yeah. I kind of just feel like he has been a tough evaluation because of the talent he had around him. Like that just screams Malik Willis. Yeah, probably. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Malik. He had a bunch of pick sixes. Malik I remember. Yeah. Douglas. Locked in. Yeah. Yeah. Bang. Nice. Good. Solid outing, fellas. 11 for 13. So close. Uh, Such bullshit. Oh, I'll hit the under. I got it was, yelled it at was all offensive think, players. Uh, led the victim. league in sacks. <laughs> yeah, he probably knew Cam did, wasn't getting sacked like that. No, Cam was fucking him. All right. Thoughts on the new game? Messing with Mel? I like it. I Huge like fan. It a lot. Huge fan. It's kind of hard to make because there's some years where like 2010 and earlier, there's like no... Right up slips. And sure. then like, I honestly feel like for like skill players, you can go deeper than like the top, the heaviest ones. Fair. But there's some years where like you write, write like two sentences. Mm. And it's like the most vague, like no numbers. It's like explosive, good route runner. Yeah. But I, I also I, do like uh, uh, Daniel Jeremiah and stuff. Other too. people's write ups, yeah. Because he goes, he goes in depth with literally every single player at I the combine. With Daniel Jeremiah, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, to go. He's also, he's also probably more predictable to read. Mel, like, fucking likes. No All right, Mel, thanks for the inspiration, <laughs> but you're canned, brother. That is messing with Mel. Maybe next time we'll win you some merch. Maybe we'll adjust the rules. Maybe we'll give you two shots next time to eat one, eat twice. But not today. Fucking Jamal. Yeah, Jamal does have a dad. 1985, 18th That's overall crazy. pick. Give us a like. Give us a review. Give us a sub. Give us some love. Peace. Hank.